Hello and welcome to the first of two linked days on tourism issues in the Humberhead levels and in the Ancombe Valley in North Lincolnshire. There'll be three presentations in today's session, uh, each taking different aspects of tourism, leisure, recreation, countryside management, and looking at things like social and economic impacts and the challenges of coordinating and marketing and developing uh, these to maximum benefit, but also thinking about how they are embedded in the largely rural landscape and how they relate to our aspirations uh, for biodiversity conservation and heritage. So we'll look at uh, some of the different types of tourism from nature-based tourism, wildlife tourism, ecotourism, heritage tourism, etc. Considering briefly the connections to mass tourism, but also looking in particular at some of the shortfalls in performance and support, and considering what maybe some of the solutions are. Importantly, through the three presentations, I'll be touching on the issues of tourism strategic planning and how that needs to be better embedded within the regional flat planning frameworks. And relating to that, how we need to be cleverer and indeed fairer and more effective in both drawing down the tourism spend, the economic footprint of tourism, but also taking that and targeting some of the income at least, or supporting through the tax system, those who deliver the critical infrastructure, be it the landscape, nature, heritage, access, uh, or hospitality. And overall, how we could do better, and indeed need to do better, in terms of things like perceptions and marketing and related aspects. I've been working on these issues really since the 1980s across the Humber levels and North Lincolnshire um, and also in the Peak District and South Yorkshire generally and led a lot of work on the tourism economic aspects of uh, valuing wetness with the countryside agency as was across the Humberhead levels. So there's a lot to think about and the three sessions do link together and they will also connect to further sessions in day two. And hopefully we will have a future chance to discuss some of these issues um, in a live discussion. OK, thank you very much for taking part and for watching and listening. And I hope you find it informative and enjoyable.